Stay out of Blackwater. There are a bunch of momos over there. And if you ever go over there, <laughs> let them know that St. Denise calls Blackwater a bunch of fucking momos on wheels. Hey, hold on now. You ain't talking about the, the fellas over at the saloon over there, are you? They're cocksuckers. I wouldn't go that far, buddy. Why is that? Hey, Wanna say that again? I'm just saying. They're good fellas over there, you know? Yeah. Good fellas. Yeah. And, and, and they also like the... Fuck out of my face. Hey! I got him, I got him. I got him both myself. Don't worry, I got him. Pieces of shit. <laughs> Get him out of here. Oh, you piece of shit. When are people gonna learn, huh? Right. Larry. Larry, let's get the hell out of town. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ah, oh, damn. Larry, come on. You gotta stay with me. Uh, I need a doctor. No, we need doctors. We need a doctor. Oh, I am going to run to the Strapper right to the post office and the call oh. for one. Larry, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Sons of bitches. Where's that saloon at? Well, they're gonna get what's coming to them. Don't worry. Howdy, you okay? You no, doctor? we we're waiting for a doctor. A doctor. I don't yeah, think I'm we're a gonna make it. You. You're the doctor. You're the doctor. We're both right. we're both shot. Oh, shot! Jesus. Okay. Doc. Yeah. Gotta help me, doc. Yeah, I'll get you. Don't worry, you'll be all right. I need this shot. Down, Barry. This one's got a bullet wound to the chest or the stomach. Um, I'll take him up and take him inside. Why are you guys leaving him on the sidewalk? No, I got uh, a gunshot myself too. Is there another doctor here? I can take care of you. Uh, where we go this way? Uh, to the right. All right. He's your access Night. to supplies. If you just have a seat for me. I'll take you uh, take a look over you. Okay. You're uh, bleeding quite a bit, so I'm gonna grab a rag and just apply pressure. I, I I noticed like blood on your knee. Um, I'm trying to make sure you know if you got hit in the thigh or something, it could be a could be an artery. But I'm hoping it's not. I just gotta patch it up. Um, let me see if it went through or not. All right. Uh, it went straight through. Good news for you. Um, it's gonna it's a lot, it's a lot less painful. All right, I'm gonna grab some supplies. You know, night is the first time I've been shot. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend it. Yeah, well, I've been shot many times and uh, never gets any better. Bonjour. Hey, how you doing, Mister? I'm doing all right. I take it that's a gunshot victim. What? Mm-hmm. Same uh, situation as uh, okay, I guess the other guy in there. Okay, all right. Uh, you're currently detained, Monsieur. Uh, we'll talk in just a moment. But uh, you're not free to go. I'm glad to see that your wounds uh, don't appear to be life threatened. I'm saying you're guilty or anything. Obviously, you're involved in something. So I am just detaining you and letting you know that you are detained and not free to go. Bro, how you doing? I feel a lot better. Oh, that's good. That's good. These guys are really good at what they do. If you're all ready to talk, Monsieur, your brother is okay. Let's go. You and I talk, yeah? Yeah, it should be good. All right, now. This is the second time you stitched me up, you know. Uh, the way I see it is, uh, you know, it's good practice. All right, all right. Well, thanks again. I, uh, I owe you one. Well, mm -hmm. I owe you two now, I guess. Find a way to help me out. Of course. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Why don't the two of you come over here and yes, sir. Room with me? Okay, I'll follow me. All right, go ahead, Larry. Hey, where'd he go? I think uh, yeah. he went to get some air really quick. I'll, I'll talk to you first if you want. Yeah, that's fine. And what is your name, Monsieur? Uh, my name is Roy Hilton. And uh, your what is your brother's name now? Larry or what? His name's Larry Hilton. Okay, so Hilton brothers. All right. Let's just go ahead and start with uh, when you came into the town, huh? Today, me and my brother, you know, we were doing a little bit of farming. Came up with a good plan to start up our own business, actually, Mr. Deputy. And then after that, uh, we decided, you know, you know, have a toast to our new beginnings. We, we walked out back near the saloon. One ran by those Italian fellas. So, yeah, then we uh, stepped outside. I had just purchased a, a rifle for my brother. Then after that, trying to kind of show him a little bit uh, how to handle that thing. Well, we'll just show him here and down. Why, don't, why not show him, like, uh, you know, when you're out someplace where he can do some shooting and everything. You know, Mr. Deputy, uh, that's a good point. Had a little bit too much to drink. I wasn't really thinking straight. Yeah, I think it might have discharged on accident or something. Okay, how many rounds did you fire? It just the one to my leg, right on my knee. I mean, it wasn't on purpose. I know that. He's my brother, you know. After that, I had already had my pistol here on my hand. I guess the, like a knee-jerk reaction. So you pulled the trigger by accident and shot him. 
Yeah, okay. All right. And uh, did you use your pistol there to shoot him? Uh, yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Could you hand me that pistol then? All right. One second. There, there you go. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll double action. Let's see if I uh, I'll take a look at it here. And I'm just trying to see if it's still around for how long ago you filed it, you know? Oh, all right, all right. All right, let's uh, see how many rounds you filed. Okay, it looks like there are three, uh, there are three rounds. So you, you said you, sh you accidentally shot him one time in the leg. All right, where, where did you say you shot him? In the stomach? Yeah, I think I might have hit his stomach. You filed, you filed multiple times, like three times. Kind of hard to recall, you know. When, once he shot me in my leg, I, as I was falling, is when it happened. And... I mean, I understand being drunk and everything, but uh, you know, uh, I want you to uh, stay here. You're still detained. Okay, I'm gonna talk to your boss. Okay. All right, all right. I'll be here. Larry, what'd you tell him? Nothing yet. I told him you shot me. Huh? You shot me on accident. I shot you on accident as well as a reaction. Where did this happen? Right outside the saloon. The one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsieur Roy, yep. please go down to the end of the one hall. Second. You are not free to gossip at the moment, okay? Say again, Mr. W. Yeah, Monsieur Roy, please go to the end of the hall where I told you to stay. Sorry about that. I'll I'm, go, I'm I'll conducting go down an to the investigation. Uh, uh, we're not supposed to be talking, Larry. Right. You said that we got shot by the Italians. We shot each other by mistake. Go on up there so they don't get suspicious. All right. All right. Roy, make a run for it. I'm not. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Relax. Stay right there. Do not try to break out. I, I was not gonna try to. I'm not hey, doing nothing. I'm, I'm not moving. I'm not. I don't Let's plan on leaving. Down to the sheriff's office, okay? Larry, what the hell did you do? Monsieur Roy is only detained right now. Uh, Monsieur Larry here is under arrest. You know, my brother, he gets a little crazy sometimes. I don't know what got into him. Hey, just so you know, if you attempt to break out of the ropes, yeah, uh, I'm not going to give you a warning. I will shoot you. Yeah, well, you try to break out of the ropes. I mean, I don't really think it's necessary. I haven't done anything. You know, Man, I was the one that was job. shot. I'm asking you not to try to break out of the ropes. If you attempt to, you'll be shot. Yeah, I'm not planning on breaking out of nothing. Well, I'm a very fair guy, and I look at the, I look at everything, so. All right. If you haven't done anything wrong, keep me out. out here in a minute. You're currently still detained, okay? All right. Appreciate you not running or doing anything foolish. Yeah, I'm not going to try anything. You really going to put me yeah. in this cage? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and remove his uh, weapons. You on the other hand, monsieur, you're under arrest for obstruction. Sir, come on. You don't what understand. the hell did you do, Larry? Fucking land for me. That's what he did. Okay. All right. Here we go. Larry, why the hell did you run? Come over here. Hello, gentlemen. You stay over here on the corner. All right, oh. over here. All right. I don't want you sorry talking to each other right, right now. Right. Stay right over there. All right. Yeah. All right. I didn't know we couldn't talk. I'm sorry right. about that. You're not allowed to talk right now. I'm still conducting my investigation. All right. Yeah, what happened to freedom of speech? Roy, I deal with liars all day long. Okay. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, and you now you're continuing to lie to me. I don't know exactly why you won't tell me what the truth is, because you know there's other people that came out and intended to do you harm. I go over there and crack skulls over there, you know, on this as well. All right. But I can't do I understand that, that, if that Mr. Deputy. Me if somebody were to shoot me, that the first thing I would do is tell the deputy I ain't trying to be involved in no sort of mess, you know. Okay. All right, uh, Monsieur Roy, I need you to go ahead and put your hands out, okay? You are going to be under arrest for obstruction of justice, okay? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Definition of obstruction of justice, Monsieur. Ain't, ain't nothing funny, Larry. Can't we get your lawyer or something? Uh, if you want to plead not guilty, you can plead not guilty. That is your right to do so, and then you have a lawyer for court, and I'll see you there. All right, uh, I've taken all of the uh, weapons off of you there. Oh, we just got that rifle. Have either of you been arrested before on this day? No. Never been yeah. arrested in my life. No, I ain't never even been in a cell like this. Okay, gentlemen, okay. So I'm going to cut you a little bit of a break. So I'm going to charge you with the lesser crimes, which is disturbance of peace and obstruction of justice. All right. And I'm only going to charge you with the uh, misdemeanor obstruction. I believe it is right. going to be 30 months. 30 what? It'll be 30 months, Monsieur, and uh, Cisco poison, okay?
Hey, Larry, what the hell happened? <laughs> nice to see you, Roy. What'd you do? This guy just attacked me. Well, well I'm glad fella you're... Here. Uh, hey, fella, what's your name? Jerko. Jerko, thanks hey, for your Jerko. Help. This fella just attacked me, and uh, Jerko here uh, actually helped me out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you got all scuffed up there, Larry. I can't even dig straight. <sighs> Well, well, Jericho, I uh, appreciate you helping out my brother. It's me, Roy. Of course. Yeah. I was wondering how long it'd take you to show up. What in the hell? Larry, what the hell? Oh, no. God damn. Roy, uh, Jericho, I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. What the hell? All right, well, uh, Larry, I'm going to drop you off right here at the doctor's. Uh, you just take a few seconds over here to kind of get it together. Oh, sorry about that. Like the place it always out. Oh, during green banks, you're going to get possessed by a green demon. Yep. Okay. Uh, here, let's step inside real quick. All right, let's do it. That way uh, we can set this down. Man, what happened with my brother? I made someone very angry, and I guess someone else got more angry. Well, there's 50 of them, like you asked. All right. Well, Jerk, I really appreciate this. How much you want for this? Uh, for the 50 fat? I was saying 25, if that's okay. All right, sounds good. Give me one second. Let me grab my wallet. What are you going to make, torches or food? Me and my brother are trying to start a little business, so kind of need some of this fat to make some food. Oh, good, good. Oh, appreciate it. All right, there you go. Yeah, well, good luck with all the cooking. And, of course, uh, I'm always on things. So if you need more, just let me know. No problem, Jericho. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to go make sure my brother's all right now. Yeah, hopefully he is. You know, that fellow always finds himself in some crazy situations. <sighs> you doing better? I don't think the people in this town are too fond of me. Probably that one time you uh, tried to force them over there to buy some bread. Remember that? Ah, oh, shit. That Rhodes? Yeah, that was here by the bank. So they probably heard about that, huh? Yeah, that's what I reckon it is. I reckon that feller over there is a goddamn pecker sucking, no good, yellow belly, mustard licking piece of swine. Come on. Whoa, what are we doing here? Buying a gun or something? Oh, no, uh, that, that feller Jericho, he sold me the animal fat we needed. Jericho? I think I owe him a drink. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I got the animal fat now. I was supposed to get that. You know, you, you were supposed to do a lot of things, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> How'd I do on the security back in St. Denis? You know what? It was your first time, so I'm going to let you slide on that one. But uh, you could have done a lot better. I don't think you fired a single shot. Well, you said just look tough. I wasn't planning on shooting. Well, I mean, the fella had a shotgun pointed at us, so. Got okay? that. Hey, miss. How you doing? Howdy, lady. Are you okay? The hell happened to your eye? Oh, nothing. I'm dressed up as someone and, and, and they don't have eyes, so I, I have a patch on. No, oh, that's oh, pretty funny. Can you even see out there? Um, no. I'm gonna take off, actually. What's your name, little lady? Prim. That's a nice name. I'm Larry. It's my brother. Larry. It's my brother, Roy. Hey, my name's Roy. Nice to meet you. Are you okay, though? I just got a uh, little uh, entanglement, you could call it. Oh, yeah, with some of the demons. <laughs> People possessed by demons. Uh, what, are you, what are you on about? Well, sometimes the demons, like, possess people and cause them to get really, really angry, and yeah. Huh? I thought they just didn't like me because, uh, something I did back in uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I just thought it might have been the demons because there's, like, been a lot of angels around, so then I assumed that it was because there's lots of demons Prim, what the around, hell but are I haven't seen about? many demons. Yeah, you know what, Prim? You're, you're freaking me out a little bit. Uh, is there a guy lying down the middle of the road there? Yeah, that that yeah, feller, no. you know, he had what, he oh, got yeah. what's coming to him. He, he uh, got what he had really coming. Demon. You know he what he tussle with him. He got what he had. He deserved what he got coming for him to him. Bro, you all right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for what? This is a strange town. <laughs> I'm getting a little freaked out. All this demon talk. Last time I, I heard some demons. talk oh, about demons. cannibals and vampires. I Can't go anywhere without someone mentioning something. That's Supernatural something. What do you do here? She's a demon slayer. What do I do? Yeah, I am. Her? A demon slayer? Mm hmm. Alright, I think I must be suffering from a concussion because uh, you guys are just talking nonsense. Um, I used to like rhythms of greed demons in general stores, but I'm not allowed to do them anymore. Exorcism. Oh, why don't you give uh, Roy here an exorcism? No, 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 no. I'll pass on that. You know what? I'll pass on that one. No, I what? Think it won't take long. No, uh, 
No, I don't. I don't think I have any demons in me. Well, and Let's then there's nothing to worry about. It'll be fine. Hey, hello. <laughs> any demons in there? Get, get out of here. No demons sure in there. Any. All you gotta do is you just gotta like stand, and then I'll pull like a circle of sages. Come on, Roy, and then, let's do it. Um, let's give you an exorcism. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. well, Larry, you're so excited about it. Why don't you do it? I don't got any demons in me, but you, my Rim. friend. Well, I mean, I can do it right here. The governor and one of the deputy state marshals are just up there. See? There's a governor, there's a marshal. You're safe. I'll do it like, right here. I'll even tell him. Well, what about what about this fellow over here? Just kind of... Yo, got her. I'm doing an exorcism. See? Don't hurt nobody with it. I won't. Who the hell is that? Okay, you're fine. Who are you talking to? The Let's do this. He's up there. Who said that? Oh, he, the fella's right up there. I see him. You gotta stand there. And you gotta stand really still. I don't know if this is a good idea. Ah, oh, oh, sure it okay. is, Roy. Yo, hey, if you got no that's what life's you, about. You got nothing to be Trying new of. things. Venturing. Exploring. And Prim here looks mighty capable. Now, what you have to do is you have to, you have to sit down in the mill. Go ahead, have a seat, Roy. All right. Hey, you really dropped like a rock. <laughs> yeah, I learned to learn how to do that really quickly back in the day. <laughs> That's what they called it, drop like a rock, they said. Drop like a rock. You sure this is okay? My brother's going to be okay? No, as long as he doesn't have demons in him, he'll be fine. What if he does? Um, Then we'll realize that there's no demons in there, and then we have to deal with that. And I'm not allowed to do it, so I'll just tell the father. Wait, what, what do you mean by deal with that? Um. Well, we gotta get the demons out, but I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Prim, why aren't you allowed to do that anymore? Um, I don't know. Hey, fella. We're having an exorcism doing a, here. We're doing an exorcism. Me. Go around. Some rude people in this town. It's not as bad here as other towns. Like, if you're in San Denis, that's just full of demons. There's demons Saint everywhere. Saint Denis. Saint Denis. We got shot up in Saint Denis. Yeah, San Denis is like the worst. Well, it's like the second worst place. Van Horn's pretty bad, but San Denis has like a lot of like the head demon people there. Hey, Prim. Uh-huh. You know those Italians on the saloon in Saint Denis? I don't go to Saint Denis. Right. Why? What about them? Uh, just cu just curious. Are they demons? Do they need to be dealt with? I think they do need to be dealt with. What do you say, Ray? Oh, they definitely need to be dealt with. Mm, I don't usually go to Saint Denis because it's a scary place, but maybe I can make an exception. Yeah, we can all oh. ride over there and deal with them together. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, how are you feeling right now? Well, well, Prim, I'm a little hot here, just sitting on the okay, sun. Okay, but, like, other than being a little bit hot, you ain't, ain't too bad? No, it's not too bad, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna say some things, and, um, if you start to, like, feel like you're losing control and, like, someone's trying to take over your body, you just let me know, okay? Alright, Prim, I, I'll let you know. Okay. Knock, knock, demon, are you in there? <laughs> um, if you're in there, um, um... I'm gonna ask you, like, really politely, pretty please, can you please leave this poor man alone? Because he seems really nice. And so, if you are there, can you, you please let me know? Because we need you to go away and just go to go to Van Horn. I don't go to Van Horn and I leave Van Horn alone. So, if you're in there, just can you come out, please, pretty please? I like, even said please. And if you come out, I'll thank you. I'll use my magic words. Huh. How you feel? Uh, not much has changed, uh, Prim. Not much has changed, okay. Ooga, booga, booga. <laughs> you gave me a good scare there, Larry. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Jumping out of your boots. Okay, now, on a scale of, like, zero being you have absolutely no desire to ten being, like, you're probably gonna take it before I finish this sentence, how much do you want to take that coin and, like, put it in your own pocket? Uh, about, about a one. I don't really want to. Can I choose a zero? Yeah, you can. Okay, so that means I don't think you're possessed by a greed demon. So that's good. Mighty good news. So we also have bridge demons. Now, bridge demons are hard to figure out if they um you've been possessed by them or not because they just very slowly they just like exist and then eventually they like um eat you up inside and then they you take over your body and you die. But that's okay. Let's see if we've got um any bridge demons. <laughs> All right. So, um, this is holy water, so if it's a bridge demon, you're gonna feel like a really burny sensation when the water touches your hands or your face. Alright. Jesus. It doesn't burn, so I guess that's a good sign. No bridge demons. Alright. Bonjour, we also have... new exhibitor chef from the hood we have inside. Are they robbing the store? 
Oh, do we have inside the store? Oh, if y'all could get inside, there's a robbery in progress. Thank you. Uh, let's get out of here, guys. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing before we go. Hey, who's robbing what? We're in the it's middle of an exorcism here. Yeah, I recommend uh, we get out of here. Let's watch him over here. It's John Cloud. Yeah, that's the deputy that uh that locked us up. Yeah, oh, oh, hey, Prim. Wait, you guys in trouble? No, no, it was a misunderstanding. Well, sir, got, um, we got cleared up. Prim, we got cleared up. Don't be scared uh, of him with us. Yeah, they dropped the charges. You know, it was just a big misunderstanding. I think we should help the deputy. Larry, I don't know, man. Hey, Prim, so uh, do I got a demon in me or what? No, I think you're all good. Look at that, Larry. You're all good. You're all clear. You're all demons. good. That means that your uh, hostile personality is just all you. What kind of robbery is this anyway? Are they talking it out? I was going to say, maybe you should check out uh, my brother. How do you feel with the in the sage circle? I gotta be honest with you, Prim. A little bit of that water splashed on me and uh, felt a slight tickle. No! Oh, man. Good. Good liar. Oh, shit. Prim, Prim, he's just messing around with you. He, he's just messing around, you know. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. I, I'll just mess with you, Prim. Uh, it's just kind of my personality trait, you know? Uh, okay, I don't okay. joke around. Plus, let me ask you something. If that was a demon, you just going to run away? I thought this was your job. Well, <laughs> I had to find Delgado to get him to exercise you. I'm not allowed to do exercisms anymore. Let me ask you a question, okay. Prim. Yeah? You ever fall in love with a demon? <laughs> no, but I got real close to one and he was going to adopt me. <laughs> Strange times, Roy. Strange then times. Then he died. What in the world? I don't mean to be rude or anything, Prim, but this all sounds a little, uh, little far-fetched, I think. I'm sure she comes across a lot of skeptics, but I believe her. So, yeah, I had a question. Uh, Should be fine. Cannibals, are they real or not? <laughs> Here we go with the goddamn cannibals. I don't know. I don't think I've ever met one. Demons, cannibals, vampires. We just can't get away from this shit, can we? I mean, I can ask. I can ask the God, or I'll find him and ask him. Roy. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> you over here that egging this lady, lady on. No sense in arguing with a mad woman. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, Prim, over here. I think he might be in the office. But um, there was like a whole other group of people, and they all said that cannibals are real. What are cannibals? Cannibals, they eat people, I'll tell you. It's the scariest thing. What? They can't be real. People don't uh, eat people. You know people what? My brother people. said That's that all exactly the time. What I said. People don't eat people. That's weird. Maybe it's like a demon. It might all be related, you know? You know, I guess you can't really hold a cannibal accountable for their actions. <laughs> accountable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, Larry. Because, you know, they're just hungry. Ah, I'm going to use the outhouse. Well, yeah, I think they're real. I heard a bunch of stories about them, you know. Can't help but believe, you know. I know demons are real because I've met some. They're scary. Hey, yeah. Roy. There you are. Right there. I'm here. Look, it's pink. She sells orange juice. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my brother's been making apple fritters. You interested? Um. Yes. Yeah, uh, Roy, uh, she says she'll have, have two 40. apple fritters. I only have All right, that'd be $10. Cents. $10, I only have, please, I only have 42 pink. Cents. No refunds, pink. Hey, pink, you ever find my gun? I know you said uh, when I you picked it up, you misplaced it. it. You remember that? No, a few, no someone else a few took weeks it. Ago? That wasn't me. Someone else took it. All right, you can keep it, I suppose. No, I, I didn't take it. Consider it a gift. No. Jesus oh, Christ. But, but, but I don't have it as a gift. God dang jalapeno. Pierre, would you like to buy some orange juice? Hey, buddy, what are you, what are you doing to my Three horse? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm hey. calming this horse down because I'm trying to work on paperwork. All right, all right. That's all you got to say. I'll move him out the way. Hey, Pink, I'll, I'll take that $10 whenever you got it for the apple fritters. No, fritters. I don't have $10. That's right. why I'm selling the orange juice. Hey, you, can keep the, you can keep the gun, Pink. It's a gift for me, you know, a, a, a parting gift. Hey, Prim. Hop on my horse. Hey, Larry. Prim says she's uh not done with you, by the way. What's that mean? Me and Zeko still exercise you, but I'm like $2 short. I told you, Prim. I want my demons. Why, though? You see, life's about balance. What do you, you mean? You can't just have that? all good in life. You gotta balance yourself out sometimes, you know? Yeah, but demons are really bad. Sometimes it takes a bad thing to make you realize how much you appreciate the good things. You know what, Larry? I never heard you speak like that. That was honestly beautiful. Yeah, being out in the country here, New Alexandria, 
has opened my eyes to a lot of things. It's been an enlightening experience. I meet a lot of folk out here, different perspectives. And you know what? I'm starting to take a like to it. Especially with the demons. Mm, we need to fix that. Hey, Prim, you got any uh, any weapons on you? We're going to go to St. Denise, you know? Um, I bought Sage. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like that'll a, come in handy. Pull over to the side here. Right, let's, let's go ahead and discuss our plan really quick then. You are still uh, willing to help us out, right? Uh-huh. Why don't you uh, take this little pea shooter I got? Roy, you got yeah. any ammunition? Not on me right now, but I mean, she just really has to kind of look tough, you know, stand there and look tough. I'm not listening to that advice again. All right, here, take this gun, Grim. Okay. Why don't you move a uh, jalapeno out of the way? All right, just hit that tree. Jesus Christ, God you all right? Damn it, Badger, you all right? Okay. God damn it, Badger, I'm going to put you down. Hey, Larry, she's a better shot than you. All right, all right come on now. Don't do it, Larry. I'm just messing up, Badger. Yeah, yeah you know what, Brim, I think maybe you should take the long gun. <laughs> Why don't we head over to St. Denis? All right, but okay, we should we probably fill her in before, uh, before we get there. Yeah, we'll fill her in on the way. All right. All right, bro, I'm going to fill her in. All right, fill her in. I'm going to fill Prim in. Tell her everything. You ready to be filled in? Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. Remember earlier uh, we were uh, telling you about Saint Denis? So, well, I don't know how you do things, but I have a good way of uh, getting rid of demons myself. You see that gun we gave you? Well, it's loaded with some special uh, uh, silver bullets that uh, they're meant to remove demons from people, you know? Yeah, I've heard of those kind of guns before. Yeah, exactly. So that special ammunition, as long as you uh, get a nice shot, preferably to the brain, the cranium, it'll re it'll remove the demon. That will help keep Sanity safer, and then maybe everything will be okay. Exactly. You're doing uh, the state a uh, great justice. I'm happy to help get rid of demons in Sanity. That's what we wanted to hear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in. Hold on one second. Mind your business, fella. All right. You you should just pretend you're like you're not with us, you know. That way you don't we don't draw too much attention. If we signal. go in there, they'll probably recognize us right away. So when we give you the signal, you know to take the shot. I uh, think uh, yeah. The signal is uh, good fellas. Okay. Good fellas. These guys over here usually you're hanging around with a lot of other demons, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> so uh, I say, Prem, you go on in there, leave one of them out. You know what I mean? I can do that. All right. So if I was one of them demons and you had to get me out of the saloon, what would you tell me? See, now this is why we practice. I, feel, I would just say, like, um, my horse is acting really fine. Does anyone really know? No, that's not like That's a lie, because I don't have my horse. Um, oh, it's okay. You don't need a horse. You, you could just go outside and be like, oh, now where did my horse go off to? Oh, I think he's over here. Also, we have horses right here. They don't know whose horse is who. Mm, that's true. Okay. All right, but the, but the main thing is this. We only want one person coming out. We get too many of those demons at once. <laughs> I don't think Yeah, we get overwhelmed. Yeah. Right. We don't want to be overwhelmed by demons now. We'll be waiting in the alleyway. All right. If, if everything goes uh, haywire, I think we should meet up at the hotel. Prim, you excited to be uh, eliminating these demons? I'm happy to get rid of demons. I haven't got rid of demons in a while. You know what they say, Prim? The scariest what? demons are the ones that aren't so easy to spot out. But you don't want to tip them off that we're... No, I won't. Because they are demons after all. Yeah, we got to be super careful. And if I say good fellas, you start the blasting. Mm -hmm. Hey Larry, uh, let's That's talk over here really quick. Come with me. Hey, uh, Prim, you guy. got a got a mask of sorts. Ah, uh, the closest they have. You ain't got no mask. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I ain't never seen a mask like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. Uh huh. Me and Larry, you know, <laughs> if they see our face, Larry, that's a nice mask you got. You know, I didn't realize I made eye holes. All right, Larry, take the damn mask off. Put it on a little bit later. <laughs> hey, after this whole yeah. ordeal, we're going to uh, go ahead and figure uh, out a better mask for you. Up. Right. Can you even yeah. see? Yeah, I, uh, some of these eye holes. Uh, let me, uh, yeah. Let's keep on moving. All right, I said we find a good spot for us to uh, lead them into. Ah, oh, Prim. I don't think Badger trusts it too much. Prim. That's the second time. Badger might be a demon himself. Follow me this way to the left. I'm going to put my uh, horse right over here. All right, I'm going to leave uh, Jalapeno here. Probably leave Badger here too. Hey, hey. Why don't we... Come here, come here. Might be able to do the deed right here. Why don't I put Badger over here? And Prim could uh, lead the guy this way. 
quite a ways away. I'm just saying it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. We don't want to cause too much attention because maybe more demons might be coming. You know what? This is not a bad spot, Larry. Well, yeah, actually, look, check this out. I could be right over here, right behind this uh, gray wall. You could be right over here behind this red wall. That's right. I could set up, up up on those stairs right there. Not a bad spot, Larry. All right, let me go get Badger. You know, Prim, I got a good feeling about this. Do you want me to go try and get the person here? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to try to lead him. Uh, well, what's going on? Hey, what's up with you, buddy? Mind your business. We're just here talking. All right. I was telling her about the guy with the gobble ghoul. That's the guy we really want. Yeah, that's the that's the main demon. I think he's but the he boss demon. He might be hard to flush out, so whoever you bring over here, so it's fine. We'll start we'll start small. Okay. Prem, you know where the um, saloon is, is the at? Big saloon? Yeah, it's yeah, called is it the Bastille. The Bastille, something oh, yeah, like that. I know that. it. I can go there. All right, we'll be right here. Okay. All right, Larry, you ready? Let's, let's get set up. You you gonna be behind the red wall? Yeah, I'm gonna be up on the stairs. Look, I can see that's a good vantage point up here. All right. What do you think? It's not bad. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Mask up. It was empty. Damn it. Hey, Larry, come on out. Demons ain't home today. I'll be. Those demons, uh, yeah. god damn. Well, Prim, I, I really uh, appreciate you coming out this way, you know, to help us take care of these demons. Roger. Do you want the gun back? Yeah, sure. You can have it back. Larry, you should take that mask off. And honestly, you probably should never put it back <laughs> on again. You, you need to find you a new mask. You look like a like a maniac with that thing on. Yeah, I was trying to hide my face. You put that little half little handkerchief over your mouth. People can still see your eyes and your nose and things. That's why I got this hat on. It comes down to my eyes. Fastest draw in the West, huh, Larry? Don't you forget it. Remember that when you said that and you couldn't even get a shot off at these demons? I said fastest draw, not fastest trigger puller. All right, where to now? I need a drink. Let's go somewhere with the bartender. We should probably check the telegrams first. All right, let's check the telegrams. All right, meet you at the post office. I'm You're not a bad right. idea. Actually, no, I'm going to head home. I live just outside of Sandy that way. Well, nice meeting you three. If you ever need me to help get rid of those demons here, let me know and send me a telegram and I'll come help. Yep, yep. All right, friend. You be safe right, now. Bye. <laughs> Poor girl. Tell you what, uh, strange times we're living in, huh, Larry? <laughs> That's right. Strange times we're living in. Yeah, they chose a good day not to show up to the bar. It's getting a little bit late, Larry. Right. When well, we pick up again tomorrow. All right. Pick up tomorrow, Demon Slayer. All right, Larry. All right.